Here we have a fantastic uh, flute clock made by Emily and Veerly. This clock is an eight pipe, two tune flute clock. It's also unique after the flute uh, organ is over, it activates a six tune large music box that fills the base of the clock. On top of all that, it is also coin operated. And the history on this clock, Camer uh, Cuss was one of the largest retailers of clocks made by Biha and Verley and other fine makers in the Black Forest. And they had uh, three retail locations. They had one in London, one in Glasgow, and one in Edinburgh, Scotland. And in each one of the retail locations on the counter, they uh, had a coin-operated clock uh, where customers can deposit uh, coins and uh, hear them play. And this clock came out of the uh, location Edinburgh, Scotland. The uh, London uh, clock was a Beha Monk clock, large shelf clock, triple fusee, cuckoo, monk with Angelus, also a large music box in the base, also coin operated. Uh, the Glasgow clock has not been located. But anyway, you can see the clock, it's a beautiful architectural clock has a brass plaque in the pediment top that says put a penny in the slot. See there's the brass plate where it accepts a uh, English penny. Uh, there's a locking coin drawer at the bottom. Also on this piece uh, all whirly trumpers have large fretwork access doors on the side. On this clock they're obviously locking and uh, they're locking obviously to keep people out. You can see the uh, ranks of pipes and uh, possibly depending on the lighting the music box that fills the bottom of the clock base. But anyway, it's a fantastic clock. We'll set it off for you. It just takes uh, standard English pennies. And there it is. Uh, the tune will rotate. There's six different tunes that plays. Uh, if you also listen to the sound, uh, after the organ was done playing, before the music box activates, you could hear the penny actually get deposited into the box. There's a uh, special cam on this movement that uh, right after the organ's done, it tips the teeter-totter that holds the coin that activated the music and actually deposits it. So it doesn't deposit the coin into the lock box until after the uh, organ's done. See, it has the uh, Kamercus logo, a large logo on the back uh, board. Usually they're found on the inside. Uh, this one's on the outside. You can see the large tune sheet. This clock is obviously larger than it looks. It's uh, you know, about 36, 37 inches tall, uh, really wide at the base. You see that music box fills the whole base of the clock. Uh, you can see there's the, uh, the coin chute. It drops into that mechanism that teeter totters that activates the whole process. And, uh, the ranks of pipes. Anyway, we're uh, we're happy to have this clock in our uh, our collection. I may have said earlier it's uh, this is the only known Whirly clock with a coin operated mechanism. As far as a music box goes, the only other Whirly clock uh, with a music box that's activated after uh, the organ works is the number 33, uh, Trumpeter of Sackigan or the Shuffle Ur, which is uh, the largest clock that Whirly made. Uh, it's on the front cover of Rick Ortenberger's book, Black Forest Clocks, and uh, there's another one in the uh, Furtwagen Museum in Germany.
So, uh, and that clock does have a music box, but it's only a four tune and is much smaller. So other than the Model 33, this is the only other known uh, Whirly clock that actually has a music box that activates after the organ. So it's a fantastic piece that we're happy to have in our collection.